Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So we've got a little bit to cover in this video, so we'll just crack on. First things first, we have got Pablo Christmas decorations, so this tree is now done. A lot of people did mention we did need to get Pablo's own, so we went and got Pablo's own. We were going to try and get a P, but we've seen that and we thought that was better, so yeah. We're going to go upstairs for this next one. So our second tree always went in the kitchen. Now obviously from having Pablo, we can't put it in the kitchen because we don't trust him during the day with it. So Chelsea decided we still wanted to put the second one up. We don't have much space to put it up, but I managed to find a space. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -ta, ta -da. I can't really stand far enough back to show you the whole thing, but it's like a slimline Christmas tree. Hello. So I've still got the baubles down there. I haven't cleaned up yet. The issue is, there isn't a plug anywhere close to here. So I've ran from this side of the room here, it, from this plug there, all the way along these units, behind all the Chelsea stuff here, up the wardrobe, and on top of there, there's an extension lead there, which goes down to here on another extension lead, which then plugs into the lights up there. So, yeah. Pablo, hey, hey. So this bauble right here was the first one I ever got Chelsea for our Christmas tree. When I first moved into the house, I had my Christmas tree with all like my decorations and stuff on it. But you wanted a special one, so I bought her that because she's a princess. Hello, people. So Chelsea being obsessed with Christmas and putting a second tree up in a place we couldn't afford to put it because the wash basket is now over there, which is blocking my wardrobe and it doesn't even get used anyways. But it's now blocking my wardrobe, so it's a bit of an inconvenience having it there. But Chelsea being Chelsea decided two wasn't enough. So... She went and bought a third Christmas tree. It was going to go in that corner in the bedroom, but she didn't like the tree. So she's taking the tree back and she's going to get a Christmas jumper instead. I don't understand it either, I'm going to be honest. But, speaking of Christmas jumpers, I want to show you this. Are you ready for this, guys? I'm not sure you're ready for this. But I'm, I'm coming out. Look at this Christmas jumper. How amazing is this? Pugs on skis. So this is from Top Man. It was £25 and it was the best £25 I have ever spent. Because not only is it a Christmas jumper with pugs on, it's black. Now you may have noticed this about me. I tend to wear black, white and grey. Just like across the board. I do have some navy stuff but I always wear black, white and grey. So Christmas jumpers are always navy and cream and I always want black and white. And this is black. So I can wear it with other things that are black. Basically everything I own. So I can physically wear this and I'm so excited to wear it. So that was three, what was number four? Oh yeah. So hiding presents from Chelsea every year is becoming increasingly difficult. The first year I was in the house, that was absolutely fine because Chelsea didn't live here. Second year, she had a lot of stuff here. She wasn't moved in, but she was here quite a lot. So she had clothes and everything here and that was very difficult. But what I did last year was her wardrobe's here. She didn't actually physically have all these clothes in. She had like some in this kind of cupboard and then like other, other bits and pieces in the drawers. But basically what I'd done was I put a chain around the two doors and put a padlock on them so she couldn't open them. Because obviously it was a spare wardrobe for when she moved in, but because she hadn't moved in, it was free space. So I just put everything in there, padlocked it. This year, Chelsea Key, Chelsea Clay? Chelsea basically lives here now. So there is no spare room, and I mean like, we can't even put all the stuff we've got now into cupboards, never mind the extra stuff we're buying for Christmas. So, you gotta get smart. Chelsea just puts my stuff at her parents' house. For me, my dad lives very far away to go just pop a present in. And my mum's house is getting like completely renovated, you'll have seen that in other videos, so I don't want anything getting lost, destroyed, or anything like that. So they have to be here. So what I have done, might sound a bit strange, but... They're just in that cardboard box there. They're all in that cardboard box. You're probably thinking that room's a mess. Shush. But it's just a cardboard box. Surely she can just go in and check. Now Chelsea doesn't want to ruin Christmas, so chances are she would never look in there anyways. But what I have cleverly done is put a padlock on a cardboard box. Granted, she could just rip it open, but at the end of the day, if she rips it open, I know she's been in there, and she knows for a fact I would take every single one of these presents back if she looked in there. So she definitely won't. These little flaps have been taped shut so she can't peek in there. And obviously you can't lift that to look in. And the key, well, the key is hidden very, very well in this house. She would never find it, ever find it. She would never, ever find it. 
and as long as you physically could. So the last and final thing of this video are these right here. Now these, I'll give you a hint at what they are. Yeah, so basically the new posters for the wall. Now I'm not sure which ones were actually taken down. I think them two there are gonna go because we did have like a running red theme in all the pictures, obviously red, 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 red. That one's kind of the odd one out now. There are red ones upstairs, which you'll have probably seen. So we're gonna replace them, gonna put them in. So hopefully when you guys see me doing a little bit of video in like this, it'll be a nice different background for you. Because the idea was when I put these up originally was every time a new film come out, I would just get the poster of that film and put it up and it would just be continuously evolving as films come out. And that's not what happened. We basically bought like five and they stayed on the wall for like a good year before we changed one of them. Slightly up to date because I did just get the Guardians 2 ones, but these ones have been there for quite a while. That noise you can hear is because Pablo's locked in the kitchen and basically scratching to get out. Now this poster here, I managed to find it online. Now I've been looking for this for a long time. They're sold out in all the shops. I couldn't buy them online because they were sold out and then they never restocked them. So to get my hands on one of these was very hard. Cheeky time lapse. I don't know if they're gonna stay in these orders. I'll have to get Chelsea's opinion when she comes home. I think the two new ones maybe just need swapped around. I tried them that way, the f I don't know. But here, anyways, Guardians. Guardians. Guardians, now we have a full wall of Guardians. But the new posters, ta-da! That's really hard to see with the reflections. Um, that's slightly better. So it's the Stranger Things season two poster. I don't know, it's really difficult to see. It looks really cool in the flesh, but obviously it's it's hard to come across with all those reflections in it. And this one, I could not get my hands on. The reason being was because it was like a teaser poster. It wasn't the official posters. So when the film came out, they were gone. They were in shops for a very little amount of time. By the time I decided they actually wanted it, they were gone. So now when we sit here like this, you're gonna have something different to look at. But to be honest, there's so much reflections on the black, it's actually maybe worse than it was. I think the other ones were too bad, and they were quite dark. But anyways guys, that's a lot covered in this video, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like as always, drop your comments down below. If you're new to the channel, then please do go subscribe. If you want to see more of this little guy, then go subscribe to his channel, because it's outdoing this channel by a mile. But hey, I don't mind losing up to Pablo, he is a swag little dog. As always people, Peace out.